Good afternoon, everyone. I wanted to jump in here and talk to your talk to you about your identity, your inheritance, and the wealth that belongs to you. All right. I should be live in Facebook right now, my Facebook group. If I'm not, I'll upload that um, and YouTube. So let's dive right in and let's talk about some of this wealth, all of this wealth that belongs to um, God's children. And I, when I opened up my Bible this morning, I opened it to these two pages, Isaiah 53, 54, 55. And the first thing I see here, and I've got all these things underlined, and I'm not going to talk about everything I have underlined, but just some of the wealth that belongs to us, all right? So, and this may help some of you that have been not feeling so um, safe these days because of all the, all the things that are going on, all the things that could go on. Well, the just live by faith, and um, this is some of the things that belong to you, okay? And I speak this particular verse over myself and my family, people out in the world, over our land, over our nation, every day, okay? For the Lord God will go before you and he is your rear guard. This is part of your wealth. This belongs to you. If you are his daughter, his son, his word is your wealth. And it is literally what you can take to the bank and you need to believe. And if you are still working on your identity, this is the first place to start, is believing God's word is your wealth, all right? And these other verses are gonna come right in line with this. Um, Isaiah, I'm gonna get it from right here. Um, Isaiah 54, 14. In righteousness, you shall be established. You shall be far from oppression. You shall not fear and from terror, for it shall not come near you. Okay, this is what belongs to you. This is part of your inheritance when you believe in him. This is part of your wealth. This is something that you need to believe in. Uh, and then at verse uh, 54, 17, no weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. Every tongue which rises against you in judgment now, watch carefully what this says, you shall condemn. I think most people miss that. They think it says uh, the Lord will condemn, he will condemn. But no, you shall condemn that. And I'll get, come right back to that. But it says, this is the inheritance of the servants of the Lord or the saints of the Lord. And their righteousness is from me. Okay, this is also part of the inheritance is his righteousness. And because you have inherited his righteousness, when you believe on him, no one can condemn you, okay? The, the words have no power over you. They have no power over me. Okay, let's back this up just a little bit more, okay? No one can condemn you now. Romans 8, 1 says, therefore, there is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. This is part of your wealth, all right? Um, 1 Corinthians 2, 15, but he who is spiritual judges all things, yet he himself is rightly judged by no one, no one, no man. So no one can condemn you. The Lord God himself is the only one who has the right to do that. And he's already told you, you are under no condemnation. And it says here, like I said, in every time which rises against you in judgment, you shall condemn because the words have no power over you. So this is part of your wealth, your safety, this is part of your inheritance. Your righteousness, this is part of your um, inheritance. No man can judge you. You know, you are under no condemnation. This is part of your inheritance. Okay, now I want to jump over here to Ephesians 1.17. This is going to be talking about your identity, your wealth. All right, this is 1.17 through 19, or through 18, actually. That the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give to you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him and the eyes of your understanding being enlightened. So you have revelation now that you may know what is the hope of his calling and what is the riches or the wealth of the glory of his inheritance is in who? Is it in the sinners? No. Is it in the saints? Yes. So I'm gonna come out right here and right now and tell you 
I'm going to come out of the closet, so to speak, and tell you right now, I identify as a saint. Okay. Religion has got everybody, most everybody, um, holding on to their sinner status. Um, that's exactly what that is. It's religion and it's a lie. It's not what the word says. The word calls it saints. And the inheritance is for the saints. So who do you identify as? Your wealth is in your identity that God has given you when you believe on him for what, what he did for you on the cross. You are a saint. Another thing that he has said in here, you are under no condemnation. You are a saint. And his inheritance is is his inheritance is for the saints. So this has to be an entire mind shift. To, uh, uh, you have to change your identity, your way of thinking, your mindset, who you are in Christ. You are a saint. This wealth that he talks about that I have only scratched the surface of and will continue to share with you the wealth that belongs to you in every facet of your life belongs to the saints in the here and the now. And the ultimate inheritance is him. And do you know that you are, that he also inherits you? It's just as important to him that he gives you as an inheritance as it is to us that we get him as an inheritance. So who do you identify as? A sinner or a saint? Oh, well, I would suggest that you change that mindset. Identify as a saint and all the rest is going to follow. Your wealth is going to start coming because you actually believe it's for you. It is for you. It does not belong to the sinner. It belongs to the saint. That is the, another mindset shift that we need to have. The wealth belongs to you. The wealth belongs to me. It does not belong in the hands of the world who has it now. It belongs to you. So that you can prosper and that you can go out there and help everybody else prosper too. Change mindset. Once your mindset is changed so that the kingdom of God prospers and has the wealth in their hands, change your identity. You are a saint.